Here we are. Got the uh, Zygu X6100 and the 705 side by side here. So what we're going to do is just compare. So uh, with just one antenna. So let's have a closer look at the 705. There you go, 7170. Let's have a look at the 7, the 6100. So there you go. That's the Zygu. We've got the filters here, which is off. Just turned it on it definitely sounds better with filter on and then the interesting thing is if we go off frequency a bit it's quite busy we can tune and we're on g5 rv so let's find someone on here seven one six oh let's have a look at the seven oh five Right, let's go up the band. So go up the band, you just tap the screen. Obviously, we haven't got the uh, touch screen on the Zygu 14, and and we were on 14.272. And then just tap the smaller section, 060. Okay, and there, sorry. We've got this one set on fine tune at the moment. We'll get the RF gain down a bit. Let's turn it up. Uh, USB. I say the speaker on the Zyger is a bit tinnier. So like I said, we're on G5 RV. There's our filter there. We move it off a bit. Sounds better. It's almost like we're a bit off frequency with that station. Let's switch. Thank you very much and uh, show them the 
Dog maybe on the best as well. Fifteen is open for us. Ten thousand dollars. Okay, Papa Delta 3, Radio Oscar November. Good afternoon, Ron. You're 5 by 9. So what I'll say is that the headphones sound a lot better than the actual speaker. The speaker on the 705 is definitely a better speaker. But otherwise, the sort of usability of it is still fun on both radios. You know that the 705 is a superior uh, quality radio, but when you go price for price, so the 705 is 1350 now, I think, and you think these Zygos are selling around 600, then that all fits. The difference is that you've got the buttons on the top and the front. Now, I like the, all the buttons, the way they're illuminated, and the very sort of cartoony, colourful screen. The 705 is touchscreen. Six, you're five by six. My name is Nick November, in the Charlie Kilowatt. Did you copy the So the 705 is obviously touchscreen, which is very nice. The screen quality is better, sharper quality, but um, doesn't take away from the Zygu experience. Now, obviously, if I hold down this button here, I'm in DR mode, VHF and UHF as well. So that's a big one, but no tuner. But you can see how if I tune through, I've got good conditions here today. On a We're in scroll mode there. And they both have their tuners, don't they? Uh, sorry, filters. So you've got filters here. Hold it down. You get all your filter menus. And then on the Zygu, filter-wise, you've got a whole filter menu here. One. You know. Two, three, it shows on the screen. AGC, SWR shows here when you transmit. Similar, they have sort of taken some ideas from the ICOM layout, that's clear to see. And then you've got split mode on both radios. They both have preamps, you know, both have a preamp. Let's try that one on the Zygo in a sec. Hotel November, five and nine, thank you. Italia, Zulu, Trey, Charlie, Lima, Echo. Italia, Trey, Charlie, Lima, Echo, Cinque, Nove. Cinque, Nove, ciao. Whiskey, Echo, Zulu. So what you'll see is as I turn it up, it will distort. Two E zero, WEZ, five and nine. Got some two E zero stations there. Italia, 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 Italia. But I'm, I'm still having a really good time with the radio. FT8, no problem at all. You've got all the connections there for FT8 on both radios. So there's no problems with that. It is nice that I can just grab the tune, this radio, and go and speak. It, does, it, it has a built-in microphone and PTT up here. The downside is the battery isn't great. Two hours, I would say. Look, it's nearly flat already. You definitely have to carry with you, and then there's a 12 volt DC input here that you 100% need to carry with you on this radio, an external power source. But you do with the with the 705, you definitely do. The 705 it has a spare battery. It has you know the Icon 51 type battery, 
you know, like this. And you can get the BP307, which... And it's nice that you can just quickly swap the battery over. But I don't really see that that's a major problem with the, with the Zygu because you just... You've got your spare... Imagine I have my spare battery in my hand. You just plug it into the DC and it will actually charge the internal battery at the same time as, as running the radio. If you've got a, a battery with, with good amps, I mean, you need 13.8 and uh, I would say at least 5 amps, um, in my opinion, um, to get your full 10 watts out of this radio. There are budget tuners available now. I've got the uh, ATU40 coming, which I'm going to be testing soon, which is a £70 tuner for the for the 705. So it's hard to compare them. They're both great fun. You have a listen here. So the 705 has an audio scope, as you can see. Very nice. The Zygu has one, but it's a small one here. You can change it in settings. It's still very nice, I think. And you have a menu dedicated to that. You just go to, I think, display settings. And then, pretty sure this one here, AF, and here, AF ref, AF average, is your audio adjustments to the audio scope. And then here, you've got your AGC settings, and then I find that when you transmit, it's, all, it's showing your SWR, and then you've got your, your meter here. When you transmit, it shows power. With the 705, again, you've got this meter here. You know, you can flick through SWR, ALK. If I hit the right place. Comp. Power, I think it will do. There's a few settings. I mean, look, notice that you've got GPS on the 705. You haven't got GPS. I know we've got Wi-Fi Bluetooth, which works on the 705. But on the, on the Zygu, it's just, it does work in ways, but it's a bit limited. It works where you can, you can connect, uh, let me think now, you can SSH into the radio to, and you can manipulate, turn that down, you can manipulate the Linux system in this radio and that, that's quite unique really, not, there's not many advanced radios that you can do that, I can't think of any to be honest, but uh, I'm sure there are. So, you know, just power wise, again, they're both the same power. Really, the two radios. So overall, I would just say it's it's not a choice, but if you if you want to spend less money and have a budget SDR HF six meter radio, then I would say yeah, you you would go for the six one hundred. Um, the seven hundred five is to me, except for the KX series of radios which are obviously amazing kx2 kx3 different kind of breed rate different breed of radio but similar uh end uses i suppose i mean it works great on cw if you ask me ssb both of these i'm just trying to think out loud really they both got clocks time they both sync time wise um just looking at the obvious stuff I, and they got the tuner and then size wise well the Zygu really is a smaller radio the 705 is, is it's a bit chunkier it's a bit more like a brick quite a weight to it and you sort of have to have a carry cage because it's it's plastic so but you know no regrets buying either of these radios a bit disappointed with the battery life but I think every high end radio that I have whether it's a HT or a a portable QRP radio when they've got high functionality let's face facts the batteries can't they can't cope you know and that's it they just can't it's just too much going on so thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe and uh, catch you on air I recommend 
both of these radios. 7-3, all the best.